Hi everyone, it's Erin. Um, thought I would give you an update. I am six days post-op. My surgery was last week, Tuesday, March 30th. Um, it is now Monday, April 5th, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes, April 5th. And I wanted to share with everyone my experiences, good and bad, and talk about some things that I've never seen other people at least in the videos that I have perused, um, speak about. Um, so let me just start from the beginning. Uh, surgery day went really well. Um, no problems, went off without a hitch. Was feeling pretty good um, after the surgery. Um, used my morphine pump. Uh, no issues. The following day, however, um, was a very, very bad day. I was in a whole lot of pain. Um, once I was cleared to have my full liquids, um, the first thing I ate was like a cherry popsicle, and that tasted glorious. Um, however, it did not settle well, ultimately. And um, the ice chips and the ice water were not making me feel great either. It was really cramping uh, the pouch. And it did, I, I was amazingly uncomfortable, just very gassy, um, very tight, very bloated, and I wasn't able to pass gas. I could burp, but I wasn't able to fart, and um, I was not a happy camper. Um, I think most of Wednesday night I was thinking, what the hell have I done? I regret it. This was the worst decision I could have made. I am in so much pain. This is agony. I, I thought I was an idiot, um, and mind you, I had never had any major surgery, so, you know, I've, ha I've given birth to two girls, <laughs> um, but it doesn't quite compare to having your innards rearranged. Um, I uh, had a lovely nurse who suggested that I try some hot tea. She said, I think that will do the trick, and you know what? It did. It helped. Also, they gave me a suppository, and that helped. So I was able to pass gas, and oh, what a glorious feeling that was. Um, I, it, I felt so much better. Um, I was able to sleep through the night. Um, the next morning I felt, oh, maybe halfway normal. Um, came home, I stayed the night at my mom's, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and um, came home yesterday and stayed the night yesterday. Um, let's see, the hospital, I went to um, the Barracks Clinic in Ypsilanti, Michigan, and I highly recommend them. They're great. Um, didn't have, you know, bad experiences. I had, the only thing I will complain about is um, a very annoying uh, respiratory therapist that would come into my room at night and make me do my breathing exercises, but then he just chose to kind of hang out. Um, I think the night I was super miserable, he sat down in the chair and was watching my TV and commenting on how much he liked Law & Order. All I wanted to do, mind you, was die. Um, I think my lack of response and probably the glare that I was shooting him gave him the indication after a while that I was not in the mood for chit chat. So, you know, he left and I was very thankful. That was annoying. Um, I didn't have a roommate, thank God. Um, I would have felt so sorry for them having to hear me groan and moan in agony and dry heave. It, it wasn't pretty Wednesday. It was not pretty. Um, I did have a neighbor, though, who, um, you know, they make you get up and walk. You have to do laps on the floor. Well, this guy was like speed racer and he had the noisiest IV cart in the world. And this man did laps all night long and all day long. And I wanted to kill him. Um, finally, I got the sense to just shut my door and uh, the nursing staff would shut the door when they left. So I could kind of drown out that hamster wheel kind of sound because it was like he was just vroom, vroom constantly. I couldn't stand it. I wanted to kill the man. Um, but, you know, other than that, everything went well. Um, I, uh, staying at my mom's was good. 
Um, I'm on the full liquid. I've been making my protein shakes. Um, they fill you up quickly. Um, what I have found out though is that I still suffer from psychological hunger um, and I am miss missing savory, savory food. Um, you know, the protein shakes are usually fruity and kind of sweet. You can have chocolate, vanilla, fruit flavored, and that's what I've been doing. And don't get me wrong, they taste good, you know, for that, for what they are. Um, but I miss savory foods. Um, and broth just doesn't cut it. I mean, that's not, it doesn't fill you up. It's not hearty. It, it's not what I wanted. Um, so finally yesterday, my boyfriend and I went to the store and I found a Wolfgang Puck soup. Um, it's the butternut squash. And he prepared it for me and he strained it and he strained it and I got a little bit and it hit the spot. So, you know, I highly recommend it if you can find it. I'm sure you can. I got it at our local Kroger, which is a local grocery store. And I think they sell them at Walmart too. Um, <coughs> If anybody has any recipes for the full liquid phase um, that are savory, let me know. I would love to know because I'm, I'm sick of the sweet and I never thought I would ever, ever say that. Um, but I am. Uh, I'm peeing a lot. That, uh, you know, I'm keeping up with the liquids and you pee a lot. Um, and it's it feels weird. It's It almost feels like a lot of pressure. Um, it feels different than from before. And I know they don't mess with your bladder, but for whatever reason, it, things feel different inside. And so does when you, you can feel your gas travel, and I've been very gassy, and that's not something that I had anticipated or want to have last for, for forever. Um, I hope it goes away. Uh, I, I don't want to be the farting person known as like, you know, the little fart blossom at work or my boyfriend to be disgusted by me. I mean, I know everybody does it, but it's constant. It's uncomfortable. And when you feel your, the gas bubbles traveling, you can totally tell things are rerouted inside and it's weird. It's really weird. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of other things I wanted to touch on. I am mm, able to sleep on both of my sides now. Um, I've been able to do that for about two nights. Can't sleep on my tummy totally. Um, my incisions, I've got six, inc six incisions. Um, they're held together with like the stair strips. And there are no stitches. Um, and I guess those are doing well. No ickiness, no leakage. Um, they're a little itchy, which is to be expected because they're healing. Um, and I don't think they're going to be very gruesome scars, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I guess, you know, people didn't talk about the gas, people didn't talk about the constant urination, uh, people didn't talk about the psychological hunger, and, and that's still there. And I mean, obviously, if, you know, I wouldn't be in this predicament, I wouldn't have be overweight if I didn't have a dysfunctional relationship with food. And I'm grieving that relationship. Um, you know, it was Easter this weekend and there was Easter candy around. I didn't miss it. I didn't want it. You know, I kind of was tempted to lick some chocolate, but I was like, no, you know, don't worry. It, it's not worth it. Um, like I said, I was pretty sick of sweet and I would, I'd rather have a hot dog than um, a chocolate bunny. So, <laughs> uh, I guess that's about it. Um, hopefully everybody's doing well. I hope those of you that have been waiting on your surgery dates that you've got them or you're super close to getting them. Um, hopefully when you hear back from me, I will look a little bit more put together. Uh, have my hair and makeup done. I am on natural. Uh, you know, it feels like I'm recovering from the flu. Just, you know, my energy level isn't quite there yet. I'm not in tons of pain, but you know, not perfect either. I hope to, um, you know, post later in the week, hopefully Friday or Saturday, and give you a weight loss update and go from there. Uh, peace out, everybody. I hope everyone's doing well, and I will talk to you soon.